the future is an interesting uh, set of words to pair together because people have been obsessed about it for a long time. We're going to see great advances. We're going to go from the car, which is basically internal combustion engine for 100 years, to the electric vehicle. We're going to go from owning to sharing, and we're going to probably go much more in terms of having different cars for different parts of your life cycle. People's mindset and realities and, and lives are changing, so um, instead of trying to skirt that change, we at BMW are basically embracing the change. So not only how do I get from point A to point B, but what are they doing as a greater good? The purpose of cities is really to be a place for human transactions to occur of all sorts. And for them to happen, you've got to be able to have movement of people to and from work, to and from places of business, of culture, of entertainment, and of course the home. Transportation is a bit stubborn if you think about it. In New York City right now, the way we get around is pretty much the same way we've been getting around for you know seven or eight decades, a 19th century technology of, of the subway. Even the car is sort of a 19th century technology. So what we're seeing is that people want to be near their work, they want to be near each other, and this means that we're going to have to have multiple ways of getting around. Not everybody has a mass transit system. Not everybody has, can afford subways, and therefore you're seeing all kinds of systems. And the cities that we've learned that are the most resilient have the most choice. You don't want just one way of getting through a city. You know, you want to have multiple ways because if one is crowded, you have an opportunity. Here in New York during Hurricane Sandy, we found out the subway tunnels were closed, the, the roads were jammed. People still want to go someplace. And, and as someone once put it to me, it's, it's people with, with the desire to go somewhere and the economic resources to do that, basically getting in the way of other people with the same desire and the same resources to do what they want to do. So uh, Changes in cars that we're not going to see it as a problem, I think, in 30 years. We'll see it as part of your lifestyle. It's not going to be the source of pollution. It's going to be the source of mobility.